Hello budget people and welcome to my channel. My name is She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video, I'll be doing my last cash stuffing for the month of August. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. I do hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is She's on Budget and over my channel, I discuss all things budgeting related. So if that sounds like your type of thing, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. But guys, we are back for another cash envelope stuffing. It is the last one for August. I cannot believe, and I'll say every single month, but this month has gone so quickly. Like it's probably been the quickest for me. It's been extremely busy. We're going into September. It's literally a matter of weeks now until the end of the year. I can't believe it. 2023 is definitely fast approaching. Speaking of busy, if you are watching this video, it's probably already happened, but I am going to be going back on GB News. I will be interviewed again and speaking with Alistair Stewart. So I hope you guys have watched it. I will put up some notifications before this video actually airs. But yeah, if you're watching this, to be honest, and you haven't seen it, do go over to GB News' YouTube channel and you can see like the clip back. But yeah, guys, I cannot believe I've been asked for the second time to go to GB News. Like, how bad is that? Like, little me with my little YouTube channel doing bits. It's crazy. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it if you watched it. But if not, hop over to GB News after watching this video. Without further ado, let's get into the stuff here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, as always, is come in and write my budget. So this week, we do have a rollover of 2,281.23 in my account but I have received an income of £1,309.64. So I'm going to come in and do a total, which gives me a total of £3,590.87. Okay, and then in terms of my fixed expenses this week, I do have my rent, which is 1,300. Tithe is 130, which is 10% of my income. And Virgin Media is coming out. It is 28 pounds, guys. I did tell you that they tried to increase it last month. Or was it the month before? I think it was the month before. They tried to increase it, managed to get a deal. I don't even know if I call it a deal. For 28 pounds for internet, it still seems quite a lot of money. I don't have a TV package or anything. Which is 1,458 pounds. So fixed expenses are 1,458. And then for cash envelopes, we have groceries. We don't have to stuff anything into household because I had 60 pounds I put in there at the beginning of the month. I finally used that, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, fuel is 20, electric and gas is 40. And then I'm going to be putting 630 pounds into trackers this week. And then in terms of sinking funds, we are stuffing everything. So we have got quite a bit to go into there. Let's do our cash envelopes first of all. So we have 820 going into our cash envelopes. And then in terms of sinking funds, we have 205 pounds. So, okay, so coming in to do my breakdown, in terms of income, we have the 359087. And then in terms of outgoings, I'm going to add together 1458, add the 820, add the 205, which is 2,483. So if I subtract my outgoings for my income, 1,137 pounds 87. Okay, so that is all done. Okay, guys, so let's start with our mini cash envelopes. These are my weekly envelopes that I stuff every single week. So let's start with gas. Gas is going to get 40. So 40 pounds is going into gas. And we're quite a way in credit, guys, with gas, but I'm still gonna stuff it regardless. Electricity is going to get 20. No, 40. <laughs> Sorry, guys, two, two 20s to make 40 for electricity. 
Then we are on to fuel. Fuel is going to get 20. So 120 for fuel. And then we are on to household. Household won't be getting stuffed. As you can see, it's totally empty. As I said before, I did use the money this week. We went to Costco and I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I did quite well. I actually had money left over, <laughs> which hasn't been saved. Unfortunately, I did get tempted by the bakery section as most people do in Costco, but I didn't actually need to spend as much on household items. So I may reduce this down next month. Um, reason being though, my soap powder that I bought from them what nearly two months ago is still going like the big tub that i bought the 20 kilo drum or whatever it is that i bought is still going guys so that's the main reason why but yeah household is not going to get stuffed um groceries is next groceries is going to get 90 so we've got 20 40 60 80 and a 10 so that's 90 pounds going into groceries and then we are onto my personal envelope, which still has 40 pounds. We're gonna add another 20 to make 60. And that can stay in here. And then eating out, we only have five pounds left in this. Where did I go this week? I think we went out for, I think we just bought lunch in to the office. I paid for lunch for Ellie and I to eat some food in the office this week so um that's where i think 20 pounds of that went and here's another 20 going into that so that's all done next we are on to my essentials binder so this will always get stuffed first i don't know why this is looking a bit crazy okay nevaeh is first nevaeh is going to be getting five so i'm going to add five to her money we currently have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 75, 80. So we've got 180 for Nevea. We are trying to get to 250 pounds for her, about that um, by November. So that's done. Jada is next. Jada is going to get five. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 25, 30. So we've got 130 for Jada. And that's done. And then Tyrese is next. Tyrese is always, always, also going to get five. So he has 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 90 in here now. And he is all done for another week. Next, we have car maintenance. Car maintenance is going to get 10. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we've got 290 pounds in car maintenance. So that's done. Um, car insurance is next. Car insurance is going to get 15. And that goes here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80. So we've got 480 pounds in car insurance. I think at the beginning of the month I had 400 no that can't be right it must have been just over the 400 pound mark but yeah we're up to 480 for car insurance um health is next actually i'm not going to stuff health i'll just show you what i have in here i've got 45 pounds for health but i did add some money in last week when i wasn't actually meant to so um we're not stuffing it this week and then home insurance is next home insurance is going to get five so we have got 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 15 in home insurance. So that's done. And then pet insurance is going to get five. So we have 20, 40, 
60, 81, 10, 15 again, but for um, pet insurance. And that is all done in here. Okay, so on to my last binder, which is my non-essential binder. We have got gifts. So gifts, we are going to be adding five. So we have 20, 40, 55 in gifts. Which is quite a lot of money, <laughs> I have to say, for gifts. But that's done. Um, celebrations is next. Celebrations is going to get five. So we have 20, 40, 55 in celebrations. So that is done. And then clothes is going to get 50. So I'm just going to put 50 pounds into clothes. It's totally empty after I did the back to school shop. So that's done. And hair and beauty is also going to get 50. So I'm going to take two 20s and a 10. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 pounds in hair and beauty, which is brilliant. So that's done for this envelope. Now we are on to our trackers. So trackers are next. Okay, so let's start with car tax. Car tax, we are going to be adding five pounds this week to car tax. And I'm going to take out what we have. I'm gonna take five and put that back here and I'm going to add 10. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100 pounds in a car tax and we're trying to get to 160 guys so we are not far away at all so car tax is done next we have my water bill and we're going to do the same so we're going to add five so i'm going to add the five that i just put in <laughs> and i am going to take out what we have so we have got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 25, 30. So we have 130, which is exactly halfway, guys, for us for the water bill. And this isn't due until next April. So let me just show you the tracker. We're trying to get to 260 and we have 130. So we're halfway through the tracker, which is amazing. Um, holiday is next. Holiday, we are going to be crossing off the next three boxes, which comes to three, two, five. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20. Shall I do 40? No, 20, um, 30. So that's going to be 330. I'm going to take five pounds out of here and put this here. And then I'm going to add this cash to the envelope. So that's 325 now. So I'm going to put the 10 over there and then the 20s there. And I will be doing another bank run to deposit this probably at the end of the month so that's done um my running tracker is next guys and for the first time probably since may maybe even earlier than that i can't remember when i started running but i've had a week off reason being i did come to the end of my training plan for the last eight weeks i've been trying to run 5k although i had previously ran 5k i managed to shave a minute off my time so I had taken a week off because my body was in pieces. So yes, we haven't run this week. So I'm not gonna be adding anything to this tracker. We can leave the cash that's in here. Last tracker we have is duty free. And I've worked out it's 215 pounds in total to cross off this box. 
but if I take away the 30 pounds that I added last week, we only have to put in 185. So I'm going to do that this week just so that I can actually clear this tracker off. Um, so we have got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. And here's the five. So I am going to put this all into my duty-free envelope. Let me take out the cash. Should we do a quick cash count actually? Yeah, let's do a quick cash count. Seeing as it is like the last box, let me um, put this here. Let me cross it off the box. So that's done now. So we should have 620 pounds in here to close down this tracker. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 96, 10, 20, how have I got 30, guys? I've got 630 in here. Something's gone wrong. Have I counted wrong? Hold on. I've definitely got 630 pounds in here. So we have actually exceeded the goal. I don't know what happened. Maybe one week I put more than I actually thought I needed to. That is mad, but we've got 630 in here. I'm gonna put this back into my duty-free envelope. I will deposit this into the bank, into a space that I've created for duty-free. Um, so that's ready and raring for me to go once I go on holiday. Um, and then I'll remove the tracker and the envelope. I will probably replace it with another tracker. Um, obviously stay tuned to find out what that will be. But yeah, that is, all done guys. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is my 30K challenge. So I'm going to take out my tracker, put this here, and let's do a cash count of what we have left. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110 pounds, which is a nice even number. So I am going to, I could cross off the 110 square, because it is quite a big one, isn't it guys? Or I could do, I like doing more than one box. Shall we do 45 and 65? I think I'm going to do 45 and 65. And then that's the way we're doing more than one box. It's going to make me feel better by doing more than one, I think, guys. So let's do 45. Where is it? 45 and... Where is 65? 65 yep so that's here okay so let's do 20 40 60 20 40 50 i'm gonna put 70 oh i'm gonna put 70 and 50 just because i haven't got any change um but it will make sense for me when i obviously add all of these things together so i'm going to put the 70 in here and the 50 in here <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah i'm not too fussed about that it isn't the correct amount but it will make sense when i come and add these all together so yeah these envelopes can go down here with the other stuffed envelopes tracker goes in and we are done i suppose i could have actually used some of the notes in here couldn't i uh maybe next time Maybe next time, doesn't matter. But yeah, we are done with our 30K challenge. Okay guys, so we are done for another week, the final week of August. So we are done for now. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also remember, if you haven't watched my interview over on GB News, I think the first one and the second one is available still if you go over to their YouTube channel. But yeah, that's all for now. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys.